I'm going to be giving a walkthrough of this Voronoi Stippling Project Made in Touch Designer. On the left I have the parameters, and on the right I have the animation taking place in real time. This project is inspired by this research, which you can find on GitHub, and their paper is open source. You can read it, and it's very scientific and thorough, and I enjoyed learning from it a lot, so thank you to the researchers. Uh, they also have examples of images that you can produce with their algorithm. You can see that there's variation in the brightness of, or the radius of the circle. The darker region is a, a larger radius circle than the brighter region. And I've done my best to kind of make those features possible in Touch Designer. For example, you can change the scale mode of the points to constant or based on the surface area of the uh, Voronoi cells or the variance of the Voronoi cells or the background image. Maybe I like the background image uh, determining the radius the most. So next I'll go through the algorithmic parameters because these other parameters were just for determining the radius of the circle. But these are about how the points uh, disperse in space and how they get uh, spawned or deleted. Uh, so first there's the Voronoi mode, which is either JFA for the jump flood algorithm or the cone method. These are both uh, fast GPU-based ways of uh, calculating a Voronoi diagram, and jump flood algorithm is going to be uh, a little bit slower, especially for very large images, but it's going to give the highest quality uh, Voronoi diagram. And actually, if I uh, jump into this project, uh, you can see a, a visualization of the Voronoi diagram here. So this is what it looks like when it's the JFA, but if I switch to the cone method, then you're going to see that these uh, these Voronoi cells have kind of fuzzier edges, and that is a little uh, more imprecise, but for very large images, uh, the cone method would be the better method. So switching back to the JFA method, uh, next we have the maximum number of particles. This is 50,000, and on the bottom of the screen, you can see that that's going to uh, be visual, uh, visualized, visualized as a percentage, going from zero up to 100% if all the particles are in use. Next, there is a kill threshold and a split threshold. So the darkness of the image is determining how many cell, how many uh, stipple points are trying to exist at that uh, region. And if uh, the region is darker than the amount of points that are already in that image, then the number of points are going to be aware of that discrepancy uh, and they're going to want to split into more points. But suppose too many points are then created in proportion to the darkness of that region, then you might want to remove those points. So generally, lowering the split threshold is going to create more points, but if there are too many points uh, as, a, as a counterpart, you need to remove them. So let's start with the split threshold very high, and you can see that uh, the animation won't go as far. Uh, it's only creating this many points. But as I lower the split threshold, then more points are going to be created. Uh, also, if there are too many points, then we might want to remove them. And so that's what this kill threshold parameter is doing. And you can see that as the kill threshold gets exactly to what the split threshold is, then there's this kind of hysteresis or kind of um, in, uh, inconsistency. And that's described in the paper very well, so you can read more about that but it's this problem of points created, being created and then immediately being removed, for example. But if I lower the kill threshold, then uh, fewer of those points are going to be removed, but you might end up with more clumping. And if, uh, the, if, the, if, the, dis, if the discrepancy between the brightness in the, or the darkness in the image and the number of uh, points and how much area those points are taking, taking up is, um, is if, if those, uh, qualities are met, then the point might be a candidate for being removed or being uh, split into more points. And so you might, you might not want to just automatically remove or delete that point. You might want to flip a coin and based on a probability, uh, delete or split those points. And so that's what these uh, kill percentage and split percentages are for. Next, there is a speed to centroid parameter. And this is determining the motion of the, of, of the seed towards the Voronoid, cent, uh, Voronoid centroid. So if I lower the speed to centroid all the way down to zero, then these points, uh, as they spawn, they're going to be move, moving more slowly towards the center of the, uh, uh, of the centroid of the Voronoi cell. 
And another parameter to control that is the speed descent toward max, and so that is a clamp. So this is like a multiply, and then the second parameter is like a maximum uh, threshold, or rather a, uh, a minimum threshold. Uh, next, there is a split delay in seconds, and this determines the number of uh, the lifetime of the particle that it, in order for the particle to be split into more particles. So you say, I need my particle to have existed for 0.2 seconds in order to uh, be a candidate for splitting it into more particles. The counterpart to that is that you might want to remove a particle, and you might want to say, I want, uh, in order to remove the particle, it needs to have already existed for 0.1. 125 seconds. And so that is uh, both of those parameters. And next, uh, there is a nice uh, nice feature in which I can actually draw points into the uh, animation here. So if I increase the split delay in seconds all the way up to something very high, then basically th these points are never going to split, like if I split it even into 100. But now I can uh, increase, uh, I, can, I, I can draw into the screen and you can see that the points are being created uh, where my mouse is, but I think I should lower some other parameters to make that more evident. And I'll switch to um, constant animation mode and maybe um, change some other settings. So let's, let's try drawing again. So I'm moving my mouse around and the points are being created uh, where my mouse is, but over time these points are going to uh, form uh, the image that I desire. And I can increase the uh, or decrease the uh, split delay in seconds back down to say 0.2 again and our animation proceeds as normal. If I decrease the split threshold then I'm going to get that darker uh, image again because more points are being spawned. And I'll switch back to the, the background mode and I'll change the scale parameter to adjust the size of the points. So that was the walkthrough of the project. Thanks for watching and check it out on GitHub. Thanks. Bye-bye.